Hey everyone, it's Tony with Hidden Light Photography. And today we're gonna to be talking about a couple of potential issues that you could face while using Nina's Flat Wizard and how to solve them. So if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. I don't want you to miss out on any valuable information. Now these two examples that I'm gonna show you are so weird and can throw you for a loop. I know they did me for a little bit and their solutions are the definition of hidden in plain sight. So I wanted to make a quick video here on some common issues that you could face with Nina's Flat Wizard. Now my last Flat Wizard video, I went ahead and showed the shortcut um, to get Nina's new Flat Wizard to actually go straight into making flat frames versus sitting here and waiting for the extended period that the new Flat Wizard hunts for the parameters that you need. And if you want to check out that video, I'll have a link to it in the description of this video. Make sure to check it out. Um, basically, when you set your minimum and maximum flat panel brightness, if you're using dynamic brightness, or you set your minimum maximum exposures, if you're using dynamic exposure, the updated version of Flat Wizard takes a very long time to find the parameters that needs to be set in order to meet your histogram mean target. So I demonstrate using the imaging tab and statistics and then manually set your flat panel brightness or your exposure um, in order to find what you need to get the mean target that you want. And this is a lot faster than letting Flat Wizard do it for you, unfortunately. But what I'm seeing a lot of in the forums is uh, overcorrection, undercorrection um, concerns with flat uh, frames. And what I'm finding to be the most common culprit of that is people taking their calibration frames in different acquisition software than their light frames. So if you're taking your light frames in the Nina acquisition software, you absolutely want to make sure that you take your calibration frames in Nina. And that goes for any acquisition software that you're using. You want to make sure that light, dark, flat, dark, and dark are all taken within the same software. And the reason is, is driver differences, and it can actually cause a lot more issues than keeping them all within the same software. Now, a couple of things here that I want to go over is in using my shortcut. And uh, this happened to me a week or two ago where I was trying to set up to find my mean target and then plug it into the flat wizard and go about my flat frames. And what I noticed is that um, the reported ADU within statistics here was a lot more than the reported ADU in Flat Wizard. As you can see here, we have 29,380, and in Flat Wizard, we have 10,557. The flat panel brightness was exactly the same, and the uh, exposure time was exactly the same between the Flat Wizard and the, um, and the statistics here. What I found is that gain was set. So let's go ahead and let's replicate exactly what we see. Flat panel brightness was eight. Let's go ahead and put the flat panel brightness to eight. And I was also on my luminance filter. So we're currently on luminance. And I had three seconds set. So let's go ahead and take an exposure And we have our mean target of 31,608. We'll go to Flat Wizard. We'll hit play. Actually, let's go ahead and back this to luminance. And we have a reported ADU in Flat Wizard of 10,720. So again, 
three seconds on our luminance filter yielded 31,608 AU. And then in Flat Wizard, we have our luminance filter, 8%, three seconds, and we have a reported ADU of 10,720. And this can throw you for a loop if you don't know what to look for. So when everything is identical, you know that your filters are exactly the same between Flat Wizard and Imaging, and you take that exposure and you're and you're getting a number that does not make sense, right? So here we have 31,438 and Flat Wizard, we hit play, and it's reporting 10,704. It doesn't make sense, right? If we were to go ahead and change this gain, because as you see here, gain zero, offset 50, we change this gain to zero, and we take an exposure. Now, all of a sudden, our mean values make sense. So one thing to look out for. Now, the last issue that I wanna go over and the solution to it is gonna be your histogram mean target. Here we are wanting 50% of the histogram and it's showing a mean target of 2,048. Now, we're using an ASI 2600mm camera, and we know that 2,048 is definitely not the middle of the histogram. That should be closer in the 30s, 30 to 35,000. One quick check is this little bar right here. Drag it to the right. Sometimes these numbers hide behind. In this case, we see that it's not. So what you wanna do is go into Options, Equipment, Camera, and check your bit depth. We know that the ASI 2600mm is a 16-bit camera, not 12. If we go ahead and change this to 16 bits, and then we go back in the Flat Wizard, what we're gonna find is it did not change. How to get this to change is go into Equipment, Camera, Disconnect your camera, reconnect your camera, go back into Flat Wizard, and now we have the correct numbers showing. So if you ever run into where your histogram mean target is not making sense for the selected percentage, make sure to pull this little bar to the right, make sure the numbers aren't hiding behind, and if they are not, go into Options, Equipment, Camera, and check your bit depth. So I hope that you found this useful, and if you did and want to help support the channel, check out that Join button and consider a Hidden Light Photography membership, along with all of the perks that come along with being a member. Your support really helps me create more content for you. Also, do me a favor. That channel icon that popped up, hit that channel icon and subscribe. I don't want you to miss out on any valuable information. Drop a comment in the comment section. Have you experienced any of these issues? How are you capturing your calibration frames? And then check out that next video. Until the next time, clear skies.